What's up guys, I'm John the Potter. We're not in the studio today. We're talking about these sweet tables that Rhonda and I collaborated to make. Rhonda, do you just wanna talk really quick about these what? tables? Yes. I did some tables for John's uh, other store at St. Bonnie. It's been how many years? Three. Three? It was so fun. Super lot of compliments. And us at the downtown store were always like, no. Wish we could have some fun tables. The bank got penny tables, and so it's finally our turn, and John's like, would you paint some tops? And I'm like, awesome, I would love to. And then I'm like, oh, okay, no pressure, because like literally everybody in town, in the county, and everybody that comes is gonna see them, so I want them to look nice, but. Um, it turned out awesome. Yeah, it was super fun, super, super, super fun project, and I loved, I loved doing it once I got over that fear factor of what I was gonna do. I was all in it and I loved them. We're gonna transport us three months in the past. Past. And it'll be winter out. I'm really happy it's summer now. We'll see you three months ago to talk about these sweet tables. Better now and Moke Monkey. There's one, there's one, and here's one. So we gotta go get some wood and then get the pieces of wood to Rhonda so that she can paint on them. So yeah, we'll see you at Home Depot. We're at Home Depot. Go and find some wood for the tables. Hopefully they'll cut it for me too. That would be phenomenal. Got my pieces cut. Nice people at uh, Home Depot. We'll cut things for you if you want. That helps a ton. Saves me a ton of time. So we got our tabletops done, and we're gonna go drop them off at Rhonda's house. All right, we're here with Rhonda in her studio. She's painting. <laughs> painting these awesome, sweet tables for Moak Monkey. Right, Rhonda? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a little nervous about cash getting in the way. I love folk art paint. It's a couple weeks later, and we just picked up these tables that Rhonda finished, and they are so cool. So we got the Minnesota one with all the counties, and then this one, which is like a tree scene. Super cool story behind that that Rhonda did. And then this one is uh, the rivers and the rocks, and it says live joyfully in there. They are super cool, super excited to finish these guys. So what we're doing right now is we just stained all the trim, and so this is just the trim that'll go on the outside and then we'll have to cut the trim, get it glued onto the edges, and then tomorrow we're gonna go over to my dad's and he's gonna help me pour the epoxy into there and that'll finish it then. Super excited to get these tables done and I can't thank Rhonda enough for doing those tables. They are super cool, it's gonna be sweet. Trimmed on on two. This is the last one, and then uh, we'll let them dry overnight, and we'll get the epoxy on tomorrow. We 
just finished putting all the trim on these tables and they look so good. I'm so excited to pour the epoxy on there and get these tables into Mocha Monkey. They're gonna be awesome. We are headed over to my dad's house. Uh, I got the tables all over there and both parts of the epoxy over there. So we're getting ready to do the final stages of this project, which is pouring that epoxy on. So this epoxy, it says it's like equal to 70 coats of varnish. We just, you mix two of them, you gotta mix them up really good. You pour it on the table and then it just sets up overnight and it's like super hard, really durable, and then it just protects the painting underneath it like perfectly. So this will be it. And then we just let it dry for like two days and then they'll probably be able to be at Monk Monkey by the end of the week. Pumped. All right, we're here. And uh, we're in my dad's man cave, which is the perfect place to do these tables. Cause there's no dust. Not like mine where I have no space and nowhere's clean. My dad is much different. He keeps his stuff very clean and nice. Finished. We got the tables. They're all dry. They're in Moke Monkey. They look sweet. And we have had like so many compliments. People talk about them all the time. So, do you just want a quick? Yeah. Just what? do a quick overview of each table. So, like this one. This is, one is the River Table. Well, this is a River of Dreams. Um, river of Dreams. And I also do this thing where I journal. I journal when I'm at church and I journal in my personal time. And this just happens to be from scripture and, uh, and a story that was told. So I, I draw pictures in my book when I do that. Um, and I always liked that one. I thought it would be a great tabletop. So this is a river reminding you to live joyfully. So your fears, what you think are fears and stones weighing you down turn into actually colored rocks and they end up being a blessing and a, and a joy. That's what this table is. Sweet, okay, so this one, which is this one right here. Thank you for being in our video. Yes. So this is also from my journal, but this one's really special to me. This is um, from uh, my pastor, Amy, did a sermon on it um, and it's from 3, 2017. So I date them all, but this was John John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And I took this image and turned it into a table because I just thought it would be really nice and I didn't add the scripture, I just put a little 3.16 so it's a little hidden, hidden gem. And the last table is this one over here, which probably is my favorite one because it has Moku Monkey on it and it has Waconia on it. And so for this one, my inspiration was John's mugs because he, it's all about the Minnesota mug. And I thought, how cute would it be to do like a, you are here. Like people come here and they're from other places. People have recommended coming here and then when they get here, they're like, we're finally here. And so I thought it'd be cute. And there's a little map of Lake Waconia and it's the whole state and the counties, you know, and popped out Carver County because it's so special. Awesome. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks Rhonda for doing these tables. Come by Mocha Monkey and visit and see the tables for yourself. And me, I'm a barista. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Um, we don't mind customers. 
Uh, yeah, I, if you don't mind being in the wait. video. Are you sure? If you, if you don't mind, as long as you're okay with it. And try and don't look at the screen, look here. I can't see anything. Maybe I, I look better with my glasses. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh.